Hey, 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 if you're catching me, you're catching Julie. That's right, I'm Julie with the Julie Show, where we do a denture adventure. I am just looking into denture fit. How many of you knew about this? Anyone? Anyone? I'm looking at a video from 2017. I thought this stuff was like brand new because I'm just now hearing about it. It's a silicone based reline kit at home. It, it runs a little over $100 for the upper and the lower. It's called Denture Fit, D E N capital S U R E capital F I T. Denture Fit. Hmm. I want to get some, but I still haven't even used my cushion grip. And when I saw the price of denture fit being close to 100 and cushion grip is 10, I think I better try my cushion grip before I even go near any type of reline kit. Because cushion grip is supposed to die. I, I heard you guys loud and clear. And you're telling me to use it, use it, use it. I'm a coward, okay? When it comes to new stuff, I'm kind of a coward. My eyebrows look all crazy because I'm using these stencils and I don't have the right... Um, the right tool to, put, to go over the stencil so it's like bleeding the only way to get that off is with alcohol so i want to also go over some of the things i found out recently so i don't know if you guys get this like a white film on your dentures it doesn't come off without scratching it off it's just like a film it rubs on my cheeks on the inside halfway through the day because the film has gotten so thick that it literally makes the dentures that much thicker and it makes for a, like a really dry feeling up there and I don't like it well I found out if you soak your dentures in white vinegar that film will not come back ding 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 not only will it remove it it will not come back it's easy to get it off so you don't want it to re readminister somehow during the day to your teeth because it doesn't feel good. So I learned about Denture Fit, which is silicone based reline kit. I have learned that you can soak your dentures in white vinegar to um, remove any film that you can get. I'm trying to think whatever else I've learned. There isn't that much more that I've learned uh, about teeth. Today, what I did, I didn't film it. I didn't know I was even going to come on here and do a denture adventure. It's all about this denture fit. I want to know how many of you knew about this. It is a little pricey. But um, I did today. I w I, yesterday was a very sore day for me. My gums were aching all day with my dentures. So just to plan on today being a better day, I went ahead before I even decided to put in my dentures. I went ahead and did a peroxide rinse. After the peroxide rinse, a couple minutes later, I went in with the warm, warm salt water. Did three tries of that, two tries of the, the peroxide, three tries on the um, salt water. Went ahead. I do have that little sore still. Filled it in. Didn't even think about trying on my dentures. Yet. Then I took my dentures out, started cleaning them. I also took my ibuprofen, which I tell you guys to check with your doctor. Doing all that and waiting and actually adding a little bit of powder on the bottom is making all the difference today. Especially that little sore. That should not be a sore though. That just means it's moving over that area. That's why I put the power in. <sighs> when to start the cushion grip? Oh, you guys don't have any idea how nervous I am. Even though you can go online, just like I watched Denture Fit, a guy was taking it out and how to get a reline out. You want to get it all out in one piece. That's the same thing they told me about the cushion grip. I thought recording would stop from my phone call. It said recording was going to stop. I think it meant if I took the phone call. I keep getting cold calls. They're not even leaving messages. It's that bad. Warranties, health insurance, um, auto insurance. Oh, my. Enough is enough. I've had the same number for 18 years. You can imagine how many calls I'm getting a day. Anyways, I am getting closer to trying the cushion grip because I am having um, to re-adhere my bottom teeth two to three times now a day because I do suck on candy. I also have that secure waterproof. I tried it. I didn't think it was that waterproof. I think I get a better hold with fixing it. So I'd like to see with the powder in there with me sucking on candy how long it's going to take for that to break loose. That's the only downside to the candy. It actually feels good to have it in your mouth with dentures because your mouth already feels full. Does that make sense? You can't really chew gum. You can get, um, what's the fix-a-dent? Fix-a-dent, that's the name of our adhesive. Um, 
free dent and trident. The dent means dentures. You can have trident and free dent. Those are the gums. But believe me, even those gums, they're going to start to pull your bottoms out if you only haven't screwed in. Anyways, that's why I wanted to come in here and say I'm getting closer and closer to the cushion grip. I may just take it out of town with me. I'm getting ready to go out of town to help family. I might just take it with me. Maybe do it on a whim on vacation. It ain't really a vacation that I'm going on, but I don't know. I know I'm getting closer. I'm still wondering why Aspen never called me back when I left him a message that my entire free line fell out. I told him it was okay. Maybe that's why they never called me. They probably should have still checked in with me. I am wearing their dentures. Maybe it was just the doctor and the season I was in. Maybe I need to switch up. I don't think so because they literally charge me zero dollars every time I go in there. So why would I change the dentist? That's the underbite I get, which I never had an underbite before dentures. That's right on top of each other. You see a gap? It's from having an uneven jaw. A lot of people will tell the dentist, like what you did to my mouth, it doesn't match, it doesn't match. Be realistic, okay? Just be realistic. You lost your teeth, you need a new ones, and now you're trying to tell the dentist how it is. The dentist knows, and all the assistants, they know, because they deal with patients on a daily basis that complain, and some that don't. Now, I'm not saying that the people that are complaining don't have a right, because if my teeth were hurting the way they were last year, I'd, I'd, be, on their, I'd be on their tail every day. I don't have to be. I'm comfortable. Very comfortable today. Like I said, I did everything in advance, and then I went to rinse out my dentures. It was really hard to determine how much water to actually leave in the bottoms. So what I did, I just took a little piece of toilet paper, and I dabbed it in little areas, and then tried to put the adhesive over the dry areas, so I just sprinkled the powder on top. None of that powder came off. None of it. So it's in my mouth. <laughs> it holds pretty good. It's an air seal tight fit. That's not the problem I have with my bottoms, though. My bottoms do move, and if they would stop moving, I could probably get that sore under control and have a lot more better days, right? All right, guys. Oh, and the, the film, white vinegar, I think I told you that. Denture fit, it's over $100 for both upper and lower. We got cushion grips still. And Dentep sell, Dentep is, no, Dentemp sells a reline kit for cheap. I don't think that that lasts as long. Denture fit, I just went to the website, it says last up to three months. For a hundred bucks? No. Better last longer than that. Seriously, look at the money that you already put in for these teeth. Anyways, I just want to let you guys know what I've come across today. I'm having a decent day, de decent denture day. It'll always be hard to say S's and T's and eat certain foods again unless I have screws. But I like being able to take my teeth out and brush them right in front of me. I don't want them screwed into my mouth. I don't need that extra pain. I've been living in pain my whole life. I start to sound like a recorded record, a recorded record, a broken record. That I have had a lot of pain in my back and my neck fused on its own when I was in my 20s. Mm -mm. I'm done with pain. I I'll use a whole damn thing of Coracaine if I have to. I'll go to every damn dentist again if I have to. Last, I had four people look into my mouth that were going to do my surgery. And three of them people turned me down because of my heart condition. Can you imagine having a heart condition that would make you turn down your teeth? So you're going to walk around with no teeth because you have a heart condition? The lady that did my um, pulling or cutting my teeth out, pulling extractions, happened to have the same thing wrong with her heart that I had. And she knew that I could handle having them pulled out. It's not that big of a deal. You're numb when it's happening. You're going to be sore. Salt, water, rinses, and ibuprofen do help. I do wish she was still there, but like I said, she was there for the season I needed her. Because if it weren't for her, I might still be without teeth. And I was just telling a friend, or my sister, how I would be much more okay with losing an entire denture in public than losing one tooth. People don't look at you the same when you have dentures, but they really don't look at you the same when you're missing a tooth. 
I had a broken tooth for two years. Believe me, I dealt with the ridicule right here behind the screen. People were saying things left and right. Oh, you don't go to the dentist. People that have bad teeth generally do go to the dentist a lot more than people that have real teeth that look like this. Okay? I'm just saying. The teeth match my eye whites. That's like a miracle. I could actually wear white clothing now. I never could before because I was a smoker and I had yellow teeth. They were stained. Not anymore. I don't vape. I don't smoke. I do nothing. I take care of these dentures. Oh, these eyebrows, I'll tell you. Anyways, just trying to bring some white to y'all. Like I said, white vinegar gets rid of the film. Denture fit's supposed to last up to three months. Costs about 100 bucks. Still haven't tried the cushion grip. Gonna try it real soon. I'm getting a little bit more bold as these get bigger and bigger. It means I'm shrinking. I'm down to 97 pounds again. Um, and that would be due to the sore because every time I go to eat something, it jerks my bottom denture, which causes abrasive rubbing which causes my sore never to heal i should have been a dentist i could have been but i didn't have the money to go to school i could have been any I, you could be anything you want to be with money right and good grades i had a 3.97 gpa when i left college five years 3.97 is what i carried all through five years of college pat on the back people say that none of that matters if you ain't using it well i do use it to help people I use it as my knowledge and my guidance and an experience that I did. Went to college online, basically teaching myself everything that I did. And I did it well. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go with that. White vinegar for the film. Denture fit, don't know who knows. I just seen a video from 2017. They're just showing how to take it out. Just like the cushion grip, you wanna get that all in one piece because it's more like a silicone. Uh -uh. Denture fit is silicone, so if you're allergic to silicone, you wouldn't be able to use that. And I don't know what's in the Dentemp reline. I haven't even looked at that. My mom said that worked like a charm on her. I sent her a box of them. I'm going to have to start a reline soon. Or I'm going to have to go back to Aspen. Something. I was thinking about maybe using just a thicker um, paste down here to hold them in. But that all that does is ooze them out. Sometimes it helps to ooze out underneath and keeps my tongue from feeling the big space. Not the big space, but the big bulk underneath your, where your tongue actually touches. But with, when you chew candy, that's, that's another thing you avoid. You don't get to sit here and feel around your mouth and feel your dentures. You're feeling the candy. It helps. All right, I'm going to do some investigation on Hurricane Ian. As I heard, it is just as bad as Katrina, and I am supposed to be flying somewhere on Monday, and I'd like to see if any of these flights yet are being affected because I know that an airport down in Florida had to shut down. Probably Tampa Bay. I mean, I'd imagine they evacuated the whole area. So God bless the Floridians. Pray for everyone in the path of that hurricane. I pray for all of you that are in the path of the hurricane i pray that god does not allow anything to ruin your homes or your lives you're in my thoughts and prayers i promise that katrina did a number to a bunch of states down south we don't need that again we are in enough trouble as it is as americans not to mention the whole world is under starting new world order we we need it easy I think you all agree. You guys go and have a blessed day, okay? Bye-bye.